I had a request to do a little chord solo for a song called New Orleans that I like. And uh, one of my students had asked for it, Ray, and uh, I figured I'd go ahead and when I'm making the video, I would make a video that everybody could use because this is a good example of what I do when I build a chord solo. So I listen to the song first. I like uh, Louis Armstrong and uh, Billie Holiday's version. So I listen to that song and I just pick out the melody first. So it's in the key of F, and when I'm starting the song out, that's a nice way to play that, because it's a, it's a dominant chord, but the melody is on, on the sixth of the dominant. It's on the three of the tonic. But So instead of starting it there, the C6 to F, this is a fatter sound. So and then my F here, Instead of playing it down here, built on the root, I've got... That's a nice sound, that 5 on the bottom. So here's my F here, and that's the 5 on the bottom. That's a fat little chord. So I like that better. Do you know what it means? And instead of doing my dominant as an augmented chord there, I can go ahead and play that here, but I want to have the 6 in it. So having that 6 on the bottom is also a, a possibility. So listen to that. So that sounds a little cooler. Do you know what it means to... And now my F, major 7th, instead of doing it here, that's a little too lush. So I want to truncate it a little bit. So I'll build it on the 3rd. There's my root, there's my five, and there's my major seven. So I can do it that way. So, so there, it's here. Do you know what it means to miss? That's cool. So, do you know what it means to miss new or? My melody's right there. Miss new or? And now I can go that low dominant with the augmented. And then my tonic again with the major seventh in the melody. This is now this is the F again, but instead of starting from the root, I get it from the five. And then my melody there at the six. So M miss it each night and day. So the two chord is a seventh with, with that ninth in there for the melody. And I'll, I'll go ahead and walk a little bit in that. So that's the four chord. So instead of trying this big nasty four, I'll just take these this, this root and the third and the melody comes on the sixth. And now this is my one diminish. So, no, I'm not wrong. Now she has this cool little vocal inflection. So I'm going, feelings get So I kind of try to do that on my guitar. So this is the F with a 6 in it. And then flat 9 for the 6. And then longer I stay. So G7, we'll get, forget about the root. Do, and so this is what a lot of people will do is this big bar. But you get this nice little tight one starting for the five. So five, root, the third. And 
then your melody there on the flat seven. A, That's my G minor, but I don't have to do that one. I can go down low and back into my dominant seventh. Actually, it's not a seventh; it's a sixth because of the melody. But we don't care. Barbershop twist. That's a chromatic, the seventh sound for the two. And I just make it chromatic instead of doing the five. That's a cool little thing. That's not in uh, the that arrangement of the song, but that's just something I like to do when I'm playing solo guitar. Now we have a chord change. 